It's called the Stanford Prison Experiment because it was, it was done, it was run by psychologists at Stanford University. And they actually got a whole bunch of, I can't remember the number, it's like 24 or thereabouts, uh, volunteers from the public, no, no like past in like incarceration or experience in that morning, in the police force or anything like that. But they, they just randomly assigned, they're like, okay, you suppose it was 24. You 12 are prison guards, and you 12 are the prisoners. And we want you to, uh, you, you might have heard of this, maybe not the name. Um, you don't, and here's why. They just said, okay, you guys are the prison guards, you're the prisoners, this is a prison, okay, just, you know, and I think they, they ran it for a certain number of days. They were meant to run it for something like four or five weeks. I can't remember the exact date, but they had, you know, they wanted to see the effects, the social effects on people who, they're not actually prisoners, and they're not actually prison guards, and they just said, okay, you guys run it. And, um, yeah, it went, it went nasty. Like, there was physical abuse, there was um, real psychological damage done. They had to cut the experiment short because people were like, I can't do this anymore, I've got to leave. Um, and it was just astonishing that it was simply assigning a role and treating people like they were, you know, whatever the label they randomly assigned. And um, what, you, what we got out of it, I mean, a, a lot of things, but if you treat someone like something, they, they gradually actually become like that. If you, if you say that, if you treat someone as someone who um, has no rights and is in the wrong and I have absolute power over you, it does something really profound to the relationship and also what the person is like. And people said, you know, years later that it was an emotionally scarring event. Anyway, the point of me saying it is, you know, as a teacher, right? If I treat you guys, yeah, see, there's a point. If I treat you guys as like people who have no responsibility for yourselves and like, okay, you've got to hold your hand through everything, then you sort of become like that, which is a bit sad. Um, it's why I try not to like, you know, even if you're not working well, I try not to move you guys around because I think that's an insult to you guys. You ought to be able to work well wherever you're seated. Does that make sense? Like, you guys are old enough to do that. <laughs>